I was told that the starbirds were myths. Despite my claiming to have spotted one as a child, and my dedication to recalling the details of the buttery white wings and sunlight aura around the flitting creature, I was reassured that I had seen all I had seen was a lightning bug, or someone walking in the distance with a flashlight, and literally every other far-fetched possibility. But that sight had provided me hope for days. Flashlights had never caused me this hope. Lightning bugs had never caused me to feel uplifted. I specifically remembered how my spirit sparkled after seeing that starbird. I stopped telling everyone about the bird. It did not matter if I had become caught up in a conversation concerning the strange or unexplained, and where once I would have piped in with my experience, I quickly learned to seal my lips. Even the folks that seemed that they would believe my words, I learned were not tolerant of hearing of birds that glowed. I needed the night after solstice to myself. As I looked upward to the trees that lined my path, I remembered that buttery starbird of my childhood. I wondered why they were so shy. I wondered again briefly if I had been mistaken after all, despite it all. My breath swirled before my eyes. The air bit at my nose and ears. The stars pierced through the black sky. And in the corner of my eye, I thought I saw a shooting star. I looked and saw nothing. I gazed up and behind myself, seeing nothing bright or shocking or out of place. Not twenty steps later, again, I saw the bright and shooting light. And the moon-blue glowing bird upon a nearby tree branch. My heart exploded with joy, and I felt it run to my fingertips and feet and to my nose. Joy became part of my blood. It flitted away, and while the joy petered, the remnants remained. And another appeared, on the other side of the pathway. One like a sweet pea flower bathed in spring light. No song escaped its beak. But I felt thankfulness shower my mind down to my toes for every lesson I ever learned and every memory that made me wiser or happier and every day of life I lived. And this, too, flitted away into the forest. And whether others believe or not, the post-solstice birds will forever be known to me. And that was my December 22nd prompt. That was the day after the solstice, and I figured I'd share that one, seeing as it's the beginning of March, and light is truly returning again, although daylight savings isn't for another week, I think, or so. But I thought that was a nice little, nice writing prompt for bringing in the sun. <laughs> but... Anyway, I hope you all um, are getting some writing done here and there. I know I have been completely slacking, but um, we all go through seasons, and we're not all the same type of writer, so whatever type of writer you are, I hope that you find time to pause and get back to writing. I hope you have a great week.